What's up, guys? So, quick live. Uh, nature ended up taking its course with Hey Hey. Uh, he died roughly about eight hours after I finished the lies. I didn't have to do anything to him. I just let him go, and I let him go peacefully, and I was there for him during the time. It took a while, but I was checking on him every 30 minutes, roughly, so... Yeah. That happened the day before yesterday, I do believe. The day I did the live, it happened. Um, it sucks, but at the same time, for him... Oh, so I trained your dragon. Um, it's better for him that he's gone. Easier for him now. No suffering, no problems. And apparently, with the female chicken stomping the babies and pecking them... That's discipline. I thought it was aggression. It was discipline. Apparently that's some new shit. Because back when I was growing up, if a chicken was attacking its babies, pecking them, stomping them, and kicking them, and shit like that, she was known as a bad mom. But apparently it's not uncommon for chickens to do this. I'm confused, because I've never heard of it. I've seen it happen. I've never heard of it being a good thing. It's always been seen as a bad thing in our eyes. So, I, I guess I fucked up by taking my but at the same time, I didn't because I could put him right back, put her right back with him. Um, not really sure if I want to. I mean, there's really no point at this point. Oh, sorry, I didn't see it. Hi, Bloom. You see, they're very fucking slow. I didn't pop over the first one. But bye anyway. Sorry, I didn't see your name. I didn't see it pop up. Freaking YouTube is so slow with their crap anymore, I swear. But. I don't know. Should I put her back in there with them or shouldn't I? Honestly, I just don't know. Well, could you do it someplace else? I'm setting up Seymour's doggy bed. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Futurama, but, uh, I'm very tired. I had my first day off work in a while, and it was a weird day. And I have to get up again at 5.30 in the morning, not to go to work, but just to help to get picked up early. So my buddy can take his wife to work. And then we have to wait an hour or so before we can go to work. Or we have to wait there with her if her job isn't open yet and there's nowhere for her to wait. And it's like, the fuck? So... I was bummed that Hey Hey did end up dying, but at the same time, nature took its course. Hence the name of the video. Pumpkin. She got fat after she got fixed. It's funny, but uh, I'll be doing a video here shortly on the update on the fire that happened a couple hours down from me, and uh, an update on the quail eggs coming very, very shortly along with the quails. Uh, I have got to build them a cage. Mainly because at this point in time, I don't have enough room for the dog cage in my room. And I don't have anywhere else I can really safely move. So. What the fuck? Did you just like pee down my leg or something? It felt really warm all of a sudden, but it got cold. Like it was colder than I am. Sorry, I didn't mean to scrape on the deal. I like seven her back leg, her back scratch is weird, but uh, Turtle's now back in his 22 gallon long No filter yet, I gotta clean it, but I have to go to bed But I have 
the heat lamp on. I have his rocks in there. I have him in there. I'll do an update tomorrow when I come home. Um, tapeworm should be gone by now. But if they're not, they're not. And I'm going to buy some medication for it, which I really should do. But I don't know where I could find turtle medication like this. So. Kind of weird. I know Walmart sells this weird turtle shaped tablet that I threw in the water before, but I don't think it was enough. Dare to stop searching. But, uh, yeah, quick update on the betas. The betas are all doing fairly well. I'm not gonna say, I never say anything's doing great or going or going great because every time I do, something always goes awry after I say that. So I always see things are going okay. And I know a lot of you are going to sit back and think, well, your animals are doing okay. That means they're not going good and they're not doing great. When I say they're doing okay, that nine times out of ten means that they're doing great. But I never say doing great because anytime I do, shit ends up going awry and it fucks me over. And it's like a superstition of mine that I've lived by for like the last four or five years. And I know it's not stupid, but it's something that I do. Um, it's like if I wake up in the morning and think, yo, this is going to be a great day. It's always a shit day. Always a shit day. And it's just a superstition of mine, so I don't do it. And that's why I don't wish bad things on anybody. Because it seems to be sometimes the things I think about or the things I say or hope for end up being things that become and eventuality so I tend to not say mean things and I tend not to wish harm on others and when I do things sometimes happen so yeah but I'm very dizzy I'm very tired <sighs> stay tuned for an update on everything but real quick back to the chick the chicks downstairs uh, yeah, I honestly thought at, some, at a certain point it was something that I did. Maybe it was when I messed with them. Maybe that she was rejecting them. Maybe, I don't know. And Spider Woman made the same comment about it. And I got to looking up doing research. And it turns out that's not the case at all. It wasn't the fact that she rejected them. It's the fact that chickens do it to discipline their children. You know, it's like whooping their ass. It's just a weird way of doing it. Pecking them, poking them, you know, picking them up, throwing them. I mean, it's just something to discipline the chicks. I've seen it happen, and I've always, we've always, you know, heard about taking the chicks away back when we lived on the farm. We didn't own the chickens, we took care of the chickens, but we didn't do anything with the chickens other than that. So we all had to call the four guys, so we know, hey, you need to come over here and check this out. And just like when James and Janet, they had chickens. And anytime they had a chick, a chicken that would start attacking the babies, they always killed the chick, chicken. So I've always seen a chicken attacking his chicks as a bad thing. Hence why I took him away. And then I started doing research and come find out it's discipline. It's like whooping your kid's ass. It's what they do. So now I feel bad. Because I thought it was something I did. And so it's probably one. But it's something that I did. It's something that naturally happens that they do. It's just not all chickens do it aggressively. Others, it's a loud cluck. Others, it's something involving a, a feather movement to show aggravation. And sometimes the females will attack the babies due to stress, anger, agitation, just anything. And it's like, well, yeah, first time mother deals with this. This can be a thing that happens. So I don't know what the fuck really happened. But apparently this isn't an uncommon thing for them to do. But I've hardly ever seen it other than those few incidents where the, baby, where the baby was taken away from the mother and the mother was usually killed or taken away from the breeding stock and added into just the egg production. So, it's six of one of me. I mean, we have three females, by the way, they were sexed. Um, but Hey Hey was buried in the backyard. So, that's a good thing, but. Yeah. I'm just tired, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little live. This is all the mom do this, but I'll be able to get off here. I've got to go to work. I might make a video at work one day. I don't know. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed today's little video, and I hope it's kind of eased your conscience about what's been going on with the chicks and the fact that hey, hey, it did pass away naturally. I did not create the CO2 chamber like I said I was going to if necessary, and some people got upset that I said that I was going to put him down because of his issues, and it's like he's blind, he's having neurological problems, his neck is deformed, He's doing this right here. His neck won't straighten. I mean, that's not a life something could really live with. And with something like a chicken, I mean, that's not like you go to the doctor and get medication for it. This is something that is just going to be a continuous issue and will eventually lead to a problem. And it's like he couldn't even see to eat. He couldn't see to drink. So everything was having to be shown to him. Put in his face. I had to force, I had to force his beak open just to put food in his mouth. And when it came with water, I had to stick his head in the water bowl, and then he almost drowned drinking. Because when I'd let him go, he'd stand up, and he'd throw his head back, and he'd just put it down his throat, and he'd get it in his lungs, and he'd cough for a few minutes, and he'd stop. So, I mean, the fact that he did go is, you know, beneficial for him. His suffering is done, and it's something that I didn't have to do. Which is something that I would have regretted to have done. So for those of you who don't know, I also have an iguana, which is this tank right back here. It's not an arboreal yet, but once we get a tax return, it will be an arboreal. Right now, it's terrestrial, so he climbs around the back. We don't have really big logs right now, and I'm about to go to the to my job tomorrow, and then while I'm on my break, I'm going to walk the little wood line that we have and see if there's any big logs that I think would be good for climbing, but we're going to create a six foot by six foot by... It's like a six foot by four foot... I don't know. Like six foot by six, it's gonna be this. It's gonna be this whole section of wall right here, from the dresser over. So here's the size of this. So it's gonna be that's six feet long, by the way. It's gonna be six foot by six feet tall by like four feet deep, roughly. So it's gonna be huge for this iguana. So yeah, but anyway, for those of you who are just joining at some point. And you watch this, like, in the middle of this, just start from the beginning, you'll understand what this video is about, what I mean by nature takes its course, but I'm gonna get off you guys, go to sleep, I gotta change clothes before I do, and I would really like to take a shower at night, but it's too late at this point, so, anyway guys, I'm off you like, comment, subscribe, and, um, yeah, I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay tuned next time, I'll, I'll stay